Hello there children, how are you today? Welcome to another fun learning with teacher Ira. This time kids, we will go into a very important topic about ourselves. But before that kids, let us be reminded that we have to learn these things because we had already learned in the past that we have different body parts and these parts are so important to us. That's why we have to take care of them. Now, our lesson is about the things that our bodies need. What do you need for you to grow, for you to be healthy, for you to be strong, and for you to be smart boys and smart girls? And that's what we're going to learn today. Let us begin. I am going to show you pictures here and tell me if you need this. When we say needs children, we will die without this. But there are things that we don't need but we just like. Today, let's see if we need them or we just like them. Here, oh junk foods. Do you think your body needs junk food? Do you think they will make you healthy? They will make you smart boys and smart girls? Mm, let's see. And no, 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 no. But all the more these junk foods, soft drinks, and so much sweets will make you sick. From the past lessons that we had, children, we had learned about the different kinds of illnesses and sickness that we can get from taking too much of these junk foods. So no, no, no your body doesn't need this okay how about toys are you going to die without toys of course i know that you love toys and you will be happy with the toys that you have and if you will have more toys but when you say needs you will die without them are we going to die if we don't have toys let's see mm, no so they are not basing needs um i've known some kids from other places that don't have toys and yet they are still happy they are still healthy they are still strong so we don't need them in our body how about gadgets are you going to die without gadgets do you think they belong to the basic needs of our body no 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 another egg though during our time or nowadays we need them so much for our studies and yet kids even without this you will grow strong and healthy now if the three things that i've shown you are not necessary for you to be healthy what now are the things that you need so here are they number one healthy food okay take note of the word healthy okay and here are they there are three groups of the food that a child like you should take for you to grow strong and healthy okay here is the first group you say go food everybody you say go food this food tells your body to go, 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 go. They are energy-giving food. They are rich in carbohydrates. That makes you strong. This food will make you alive, that you would not be lousy and that you would not feel sleepy. This will help you to be able to run, to play, and to be more active during the day so that you can do more things. These are the food that you should take. The go food. Can you say it again? You say go food as if it's telling your body to go, 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 move, go, go. Okay, so what are these? Look at the pictures. So, just like the rice, the bread, the corn, potatoes, and things like that. The pasta, noodles. Children, remember, not too much noodles because that is not also good for you. Kid like you should be taking much carbohydrate because you need more energy. Okay, here is the second group. The grow food because this food will help you grow taller. What are these? These are the food that are rich in protein. They are basically coming from animals. So what are those? Milk, egg, cheese, meat. Wow, I know you like that. Fish. This kind of food, children, if you take them, they will help you to grow taller each day. So remember this food if you want to grow. Okay, next. 
This are the glow food. You say glow food. Why did I do this? Because this food will make you pretty and handsome. Yes. They will give you clearer skin, fairer skin. They will make you strong. Because this kind of foods are rich in vitamins and minerals. And basically, they are coming from fruits and vegetables yes so you should eat lots of fruits and vegetables some foods here are good for the eyes they will give you clear eyesight and other foods here are good for the skin just like the tomatoes some foods here are good very great in fighting cancers because they are rich in phytochemicals lycopene and they are natural source of antioxidants so, so remember the three food groups Go, grow, and glow. Go, grow, and glow. Wait, we just don't need healthy food. What else? So, we need air. Of course, people, plants, and animals need air for us to live. We need this for us to be able to breathe in and out like that. So, we need air. What else do we need? Water. So we need water. Not just human, but animals and plants as well. They need water. Okay, what else? We need sunlight. Kids, you need sunlight. That's why you can go outside if it's just early in the morning because that gives vitamin D that will make you strong also and healthy. But please don't stay outside. Don't stay under the sun if it's afternoon or late in the afternoon. That won't help you a lot only in the morning okay but sunlight is good for us and we need it okay what else we need clothes kids we will die why are we going to die if we don't have clothes because clothes are protection they serve as protection for our body so that we won't catch cold or we won't feel so hot you cannot go outside without clothes. That serves as your protection. Clothes will not just make you pretty and handsome, but that will protect you. Okay, so we need clothes. Next, we need shelter. You say shelter. That's number six. You say shelter. Shelter also means house. You need a house to live in. Why do you need a house? The house serves as our protection from rain, protection from too much heat of the sun. So that will be our place that will keep us protected at all times. And here in our house, we can do rest and sleep. Okay, and we need that, children. You cannot just work, 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 play, 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 play. No, no, no. You should stop for a while and rest. This body that we have needs rest so that it could recover and it could recharge like the cell phones. Okay, how about exercise? Do you do simple exercises like stretching, bending? That is so helpful for your bones and for your muscles. So you should have daily exercises, just simple exercises like running, jogging, biking. So there are lots of exercises that you can do even at home. Okay, and last but not the least, this is one of the most important things that you need. You need love and care. And where do you need the love and care? Of course, from your family. They are the first ones who could give you the real love and care that you need. A child who was given proper care, proper love, and showered with so much love from the family is the one who becomes so healthy, so happy, and strong child. Always remember these things that we had learned today, children, that these are the basic needs of our body. So all else are not needs but just wants. We should focus first on the needs or basic needs of our body for us to be strong and healthy at all times. So next time around children, you think, do I need this? Will this be helpful to my body? I hope that you had learned something today and had fun learning with me. Bye, thank you. <laughs>